still trying to get used to this mode of vlogging feeling but um i am i just left the joker i left seeing the joker and all oh, while i was preparing my my task cam and everything my gopro i'm trying a new angle by the way on top of the helmet as opposed to on my face but um while i was getting that ready i was just thinking about the movie and it i, I really think it's more than just a movie i really think that it's an artistic message and the directors and everybody did a, a really 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 great job in delivering that message and i'm just like damn I was first of all never planning to see the Joker movie. I was never never interested in it. I think I saw one trailer or something like that. And I was like, eh, it doesn't have the Batman in it. I don't know how this ties into the Batman series and movies or whatever, so I don't really want to see it. But then I saw a post from my friend on Facebook and like, I don't know, it sounded very like Yo, go see this movie. You know, it's just one of those things you read and you just, even though it's words and letters on the screen, you felt the energy. So I was like, okay, I'll check it out. And now we are here. What in the f But the Joker, what do, what do I think of it? It was amazing. It was, it was great acting, great writing great everything like everything that makes a good movie let's go go straight everything that makes a good movie i can't even think while i'm riding wake up everybody wake up Everything that would make a movie great is what made that movie great. How about I just talk at the red lights? I think that would be easier. I have a dark visor on so I don't want I can't close my visor unless I won't be able to see the road. But hopefully you guys don't hear the wind too much. I feel like you really either got to stomp the brake, I mean, the your gear up or down whenever that happens. Like, whenever I lightly tap it, it goes... All right. Yes, let out it out, let it out. Let it out. Let it out. All right. Back to the Joker. Whew. Um, so I was saying it was a great movie. It was a couple of scenes that were really gory and just had me like, damn. But the acting was so well done and everything was so appropriate that you know oh my god it's kind of cold too but I'll try to talk while I do this. Um, besides the, the, the technical things, the technical aspects of movies, such as the shooting, directing, the acting, and all that stuff, 
being great about this movie, I also realized that there was no CGI in this movie whatsoever. So everything just had to be pure mind, like pure directing. Did she just hoot this? Oh my dang. They just fell? Oh, snap. They good. But, um, yeah, it was... Everything was pure directing, pure acting, pure skill, pure talent, pure thought. There was no big old CGI computers to make monsters pop up and stuff like that. So that was really, like, another thing I had to grasp. But the message. I think the Joker was trying to tell us that you can't really push somebody to the edge and expect them not to explode. I mean, I, I wrote down on my notes, there's so many things, so many different messages. So, like, I honestly don't even want to sum that up as the only one. But there was a lot. Hey, Harley. <laughs> Shut up, dog. I love dogs, but it's like, why are you growling, barking? I can do anything, dog. So just get over your your dislike of motorcycles, okay? Got him. Ooh, got her. Him, her, her. Who that? Hopefully there's no lot of police y'all around. That was a lot of police y'all, I think. I think. This is why I don't like taxis. What are you doing, bro? Like, you just look like you don't know what you're doing. Where are you going, Charger? Are you running away from me? You running? You running? This is 300. You don't need to run. We need to run. It's nice though. I'm trying to get home and eat my cold Subway sandwich. You know? That's actually very distracting. What? The bumba clots. I feel like I can't even gather my thoughts, honestly, guys. Like, I don't know. This motor blocking stuff is serious. Talking and riding at the same time? Oh no. I wanna pass this escalate so bad. So right, I'm not gonna do it, but chill, but chill, but chill, but chill. But um Yeah. Guys, you know how badly I want to? Yeah, thank you. Pull up. Relieve me from my temptation. Thank you. But I won't go back behind you though. That was like 75, 76. If I can't talk about the movie, I'll give you guys this. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. You can drive a little bit faster. <laughs> gonna hurt. You ready? You my lane, brother. 
I'm pretty sure you're not gonna exit out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, homie. God, that thing had just disappeared. What the hell? Woo! So much adrenaline that I don't know what that I just passed out. Good thing I know that road, but holy crap. I literally could not see. Everything was black. And my bike shut off. I think I my instincts. What the how did my bike shut off? What the hell? Woo! Damn. Oh, that's crazy. My heart is like. Let's just take a second to look at the... <laughs> what the heck was that? Whew. Whoa. I really think I passed out. My heart, what the? <sighs> like I passed out? But my body was still moving, my instincts were still on, my instinct kicked in and told me not to collapse while riding the bike. Something was like, yo, you're gonna crash, you don't know what you're doing, you can't see. And I woke up. 